Hello, hello everyone. This is Mark Johnson, your fitness ambassador from Bounce Pep and the youngest son of Bill Johnson. Want to send a shout out to all the people who are just starting out and getting in shape and wanted to give you some pointers about what you should be thinking about and what you should be focusing on when you're just starting out because one of the misconceptions that people have a lot of people have when they when they first start out is that they're going to see quick results in terms of how they look and more often than not that turns out not to be the case and that's why a lot of people get these gym memberships and stop going after a couple months or a few weeks because they start off with a lot of enthusiasm and a, a lot of fire and energy but they don't see the results fast enough so i just want to remind people inform people that getting in shape is one thing and you can start getting in shape immediately However, the results that you that that you can see visibly will take time to show up. And it's important to be realistic about this when you're starting out. So typically, whatever you're doing today, if you're doing particular exercises today or working out a particular muscle group or whatever you're doing, you can't expect the results of that to be visible tomorrow or even the week after that. You know, the results from what you do today are likely to show up in, you know, a couple months, a few months or so. And you need to keep that in mind because working out is a process of breaking down, basically tearing muscles uh, while you work out and then having them, uh, you know, repair and rebuild themselves bigger and stronger while you rest or while you're sleeping essentially. And so that's a process that takes time and it takes patience on your part to let the process just work. So when you're first starting out, if you're basically a novice getting in shape, and especially if you're doing something like strength training, uh, training you just want to keep in mind that it can be, it probably will be a few months before you see any difference. So that's why it's very important in the beginning not to focus so much on what you see, but to focus on how you feel. Because in the beginning, I guarantee that you will notice changes in how you feel uh, rather quickly. So you should notice that you have more energy. You should feel yourself getting stronger uh not only for yourself but you should be able to verify from if, if from week to week essentially so if you were lifting a certain amount the previous week and then you go in this week uh you're probably going to notice that you can lift a bit more this week than you did the previous week so you're going to be able to uh, feel the uh the results of your efforts faster than you will see them and don't be worried because that is totally normal. The key is that you have to stick with it. You won't see anything for a while, but you have to stick with it. Don't give up. Don't quit. Just keep going. This is where so many people go off the rails is they don't have the commitment to stick with it long enough to see the results. So you've got to be able to ride out that period where it seems like, you know, not much is happening on the outside. And again, just focus on what's happening on the inside, because actually what's happening on the inside is the most important thing. If something good is happening on the inside, if you've got more energy and endurance and strength and your mood is better, you see positive effects like that, those eventually lead to changes on the outside so they're basically leading indicators of changes to come on the outside 
you have to be aware of that right from the beginning of your fitness journey so that you don't give up and get discouraged. Now, I want to remind you, you also need to make sure that you go and you work out consistently. You see, this is another thing. Commitment involves not only a certain time commitment in terms of saying, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to stick with this. But it also requires a certain um, dedication to frequency of working out. In other words, you need to be working out several times a week. If you're going in to the gym, for instance, and you're and you're just going once or twice a week, well, that's probably not going to be enough. If your goal, if 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 you have set a goal that you want to achieve a certain type of physique or uh, you know lose pounds or look better in a certain area, just physically, you have to understand that you have to commit to showing up consistently and working out. And it cannot be once or twice a week. So you need to be working out a minimum of three times a week, minimum. And if you can get a good 45 minutes, an hour in, typically that's gonna be enough uh, I always say a, a bare minimum of 35 minutes. That's what I say. If, if, if just bare minimum three times a week, 35 minutes, but that is bare minimum. Okay, if you're doing that, you're meeting the absolute minimum requirement. So if you really want to make progress and you really want to see results in a reasonable amount of time, and I'm talking about visible results in a reasonable amount of time, which would be a few months, okay, then you need to be working out several times a week. You probably need to be shooting for 45 minutes, uh, an hour or so per workout. Some people work out much longer than that. For instance, my workouts are typically longer than an hour, uh, but it's, it's all up to the person. Some people, you know, 45 minutes is enough for them. Other people just like to work out for longer. For me, I like to work out uh, a little bit longer. So I just keep working out and keep adding more set, sets and keep doing more reps uh, because that's just the way that I do things. You may have uh, a different um, approach and that's fine if it's working for you. So let's go ahead and stop here today remember the key is to stay committed don't expect visible changes to happen immediately focus first on how you feel focus first on getting your energy up boosting your mood getting stronger having more stamina and endurance Focus on those things first, and then those will be the leading indicators of the visible changes that will come. All right, let's leave it there. You all have a great day.